we're supposed to be protecting you from Russia, but why are you paying billions of dollars to Russia for energy? Why are countries in NATO, namely Germany, having a large percentage of their energy needs paid you know, to Russia and, and taken care of by Russia? Now, if you look at it, Germany is a captive of Russia because they supply. They got rid of their coal plants. They got rid of their nuclear. They're getting so much of the oil and gas from Russia. I think it's something that NATO has to look at. I think it's very inappropriate. You and I agree that it's inappropriate. I don't know what you can do about it now, but it certainly doesn't seem to make sense that uh, they pay billions of dollars to Russia, and now we have to defend them against Russia. You know, NATO is an alliance of 29 nations, and uh, there are sometimes differences and uh, different views and also some disagreements, and uh, gas... Uh, uh, pipeline from Russia to Germany is one issue where allies uh, disagree. I think that two world wars and the Cold War taught us that uh, we are stronger together than apart. Um, but how can you be together when a country is getting its energy from the person you want protection against or from the group that you want protection? Because you understand that uh, when we stand together, also when uh, dealing with Russia, we are stronger. I think what we have seen is that... No, you're just making Russia richer. Well, you're not dealing with Russia, you're making Russia richer. 